Okay, I'm standing here at Ivy Switch Road in Luling, and right across the street from me is the, the property. It looks like 435 Ivy Switch. It goes up here a little bit, another looks like another 75 or 100 feet, and it goes down here to this house about an, about an equal amount. And so you can see the little white stakes in the ground. Across the street from me is an open field with a couple of big oak trees. The property, and this is the rest of Ivy Switch. And as we walk into the front gate, we, uh, we see a lot of trees, a lot of woods. The interesting thing is that according to the survey map, this area that I'm walking on is untouched by floods and yet you know this it just rained today this afternoon if i look uphill which is definitely a slope going up well, the survey map shows that this area was covered with water during the probably the 98 flood but it's higher ground it's higher ground than the dirt road which, according to the survey map, was untouched. So that's kind of strange. Um, anyway, we're going to go in the car, and I'm, I'm going to do another video clip in about two minutes here. I'm going to spread these video clips out to three minutes because I had trouble with a 10-minute clip. Here's the house on to my right. As we go in, and then we go up into the property, 148 acres. The cows that were here early in the morning are probably gone into the woods where they sleep at night. We'll see them in a minute. As you keep going down the road. Come to a concrete bridge. What's left of it? As you can see there's still a lot of trees here. A lot of open, I mean, and, and they're all spaced very nicely. They're not too thick. So that's a very good thing. Depending on what you're looking for. Now we're coming up to an opening to the field into that second house where that flood was in 1998 where some people were killed. And I'm going to stop it right here and do another video clip.